Hello, coffee addicts. You probably feel guilty all the time for drinking so much coffee. Well, I know I do, uh, but according to Skip, you don't have to feel guilty anymore because there are lots of positive effects about drinking coffee. There are a lot of positive things, that's true. Uh, well, first of all, it improves your energy level, um, so it will always enhance your physical performance. And next to that, um, uh, the caffeine uh, will improve the adrenaline in your blood. So when you will go uh, to the gym, just have a cup of coffee and you will definitely do better. Um, next to that, the oxidization of cholesterol um, uh, is put down because of the antioxidants inside of the coffee. Um, and the caffeine will boost your immune. So when you feel a bit ill or whatever, then just have an extra cup of coffee and you'll uh, feel yourself way better. Also, there's one uh, really large um, advantage of it. Even if it isn't for your own health, there are about 600 to 800 million people uh, all over the world depending on coffee production uh, for their entire life. That's almost 10% of the world population. So if you don't do it for your own health, do it for ours. Wow, the list is endless. Um, and are you, do you have any more fun facts about coffee? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, well, in, in extent to the remark I just made about um, the antioxidants, uh, what that uh, uh, develops is that um, it's against uh, Parkinson. Um, it, uh, it, it takes care that development of type 2 diabetes uh, is put down and a heart, uh, and your chances of getting a heart disease uh, is also uh, a bit lower. Uh, and next to that, uh, next to the antioxidants, it also uh, got substances in it like uh, vitamin B2, B6, and a lot of minerals as potassium or magnesium. So you would say drinking coffee is just as healthy as, for example, orange juice? You could almost say that, yes. Thank you for being with us today, Skip. And for you guys at home, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.